hey, 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 boxing fans, boxing critics, boxing analysts, Renee Box Young, thank you so much uh, for viewing. I hope you guys are doing great. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for showing the love um, to all you guys, man. It's awesome. Um, it's great to chop things down with you, you know, chop things up uh, with the boxing community, you know. Um, you know, I want to break this down for you guys. I want to get right to it. Uh, Demetrius Andrade. And the comparisons and similarities that we see between these two fighters uh, and Terrence Crawford, okay? I see I see kind of Demetrius Andra 2 point, uh, you know, Bud Crawford 2.0, man. Um, l let me say why, okay? This has been, you know, this has been in me. You know, I've been wanting to make this video some time ago, but, you know, I haven't gotten around to it. So I, I want to do it now. Um, these guys are very similar, man. I mean, they're very similar. It's not new, okay? Saying, you know, all this, all the links in the description, boxred.com, and we're going to go here, boxingtalk.com. You guys, this is nothing new. You guys know since January, right? Demetrius Andrade extends deal with Matchroom. Okay, so he, he extends a deal with Matchroom. Even be, It was last year, man. Last year, towards the end of the year, rumor was going around that, you know, Andrade was at the end of his uh, contract, his former contract with Matchroom Boxing, Okay. Uh, with the zone, whatever, Eddie Hearn, et cetera, et cetera, okay? Um, at, towards the end of last year, it was the rumor. That was the rumor, okay? I put in social media, I don't even know where, but I put, it's most likely he's going to re-sign to top rank. I'm sorry, top rank. <laughs> I got these guys so similar that I'm mixing their, their promotional companies or whatever now, okay? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I put somewhere in social media. I don't remember if it was Twitter. I don't remember if it was, I don't remember if it was Instagram, but I put more than likely he's going to re-sign to a, uh, you know, with Matchroom and Eddie Hearn or whatever, right? And it happened. So here it is. You guys already know it. It's nothing new, okay? Uh, you know, this is his quote, uh, you know, Andrade's quote. I'm delighted to have signed uh, an extension to my deal uh, with Eddie Hearn and Matchroom Boxing USA. You know, he's happy about it. That's great. You know what I mean? We have had a great 18 months, and we've got plans to have an even bigger 2020 and 2021. Okay, so if it wasn't big... This is my question, man. If it wasn't so big before, then why is it going to be bigger in 2020 and 2021? Okay, I don't know, but that's what he's saying. That's fine. That's his opinion. You go to his record, man. I mean, I'm not I'm not the type of person to see resumes and stuff like that. I'm just saying this to make a point, okay? Um, just, How many fights does he have, man? He has 29 and 0. He's, he's undefeated, right? Um, look at his opponents. Uh, so he's having these. This is what I'm trying to get at. He's having these types of opponents with Matchroom. Uh, let's just go back to 2014. I don't know. Okay, no, I don't think that was with Matchroom. I'm not sure when. I think he was in another promotional company. Y'all who know who's his story, I mean, you know his history and when, how long he's been in, in Matchroom before he signed, re-signed to, uh, to uh, Eddie Hearn, right? To Matchroom. Uh, so right here, I mean, it says here, the two-weight title holder was one of the first fighters to team up with promoter Eddie Hearn in two, July 2018. There you go. As he expanded the matchroom boxing empire to America. So there's, I mean, there it is. Okay, so since 2018. Okay, so let's go down here. Uh, I'm doing this fast, you guys. I don't want to make it too long. So since 2018, we got here the competition. Um, let's go down here in the years. 2018, you got, since 2018, around there, Walter... Katan Dalqua, I'm sorry if I mispronounce it. Art Art Artur Akavav. Uh Masi Suleki. Okay, Suleki. Uh Killer. Okay, so I I don't see guys, uh, you know. Oh, he fought he fought a singer. That's cool. No, I'm just kidding, man. I'm, I'm just joking, right? I don't want <laughs> Respects to the heck, man. Respects to these fighters, man. They're great fighters. You know what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not I'm just showing the simil similarities. Between the two fighters, Terence Crawford and Demetrius Andrade. So he re-signed to Eddie Hearn. Nothing new. Okay. What did Terence Crawford do some time ago? You guys already know. ESPN.com. Links in the description. Check it out. You guys already know this. Wel welterweight world titleist Terence Crawford, one of boxing's pound-for-pound -pound elite fighters, signed a contract extension with promoter top rank on Thursday. This was back in September. Okay, 2018. You guys know about this. So this is another similarity that we have between these two fighters that Demetrius Andrade extends a deal with Matchroom. Terrence Crawford extends a deal with Top Rank. Okay, um, I understand. We understand it. We've heard it many times, heard it hundreds of times in other channels, which is fine. And, it, and it's and it's and it's um, it's true. Okay, that they're re-signing. Uh, one of the things that we can, uh, you know, 
solidify, I guess, according to what we see, according to, you know, as boxing fans, as analysts, what we see, <clears throat> excuse me, is that they're re-signing because they got stability with these promoters. They got stability with these promotional companies. You know, they're, they're you know, quite active, I guess you can say, right? But, um, you know, the competition is just not acceptable, you guys. I mean, I'm sorry. I mean, there's no other way to cut this, you guys. I mean, there's no... Okay, if I, okay, go to Terrence Crawford, you know, it's just not acceptable, you know, in the welterweight division at least, with Terrence Crawford, in the welterweight division at least, with Terrence Crawford, it's not acceptable, I've said this before, I keep saying it, um, amazing fighter though, okay, I mean, nothing against that, you know what I'm saying, I'm just saying, uh, the competition is not acceptable, okay, and, and, and Terrence Crawford, uh, you know, has been calling out the best, Spence, y'all know, and the welterweight he doesn't move up. He doesn't move up in the rankings more to fight stronger competition to work his way up the ladder, like I've said before. Okay, um, he just wants to go directly to Spence. I mean, I just that's not that's not coherent. All right. I mean, and, and people hyping it up like, yeah, he's the best, and you're not the best yet in the welterweight division, Terrence. I'm sorry. I mean, you're not the best yet. Yet. I'm not saying he isn't, all right? He's not the best yet. He hasn't proven much at all in the welterweight division. I think you guys can see that by seeing these. Uh, just, you guys, okay, Jeff Horn, all right. Benavides, okay. Khan, okay. Whatever, how you pronounce that. Green Machine, or however his name is, okay? Now, okay, there's recent news. Y'all get that news somewhere else because, I, you know, I don't, sometimes I don't do breaking news. Sometimes I have been recently, but... There's recent news that Terrence Crawford is fighting another average fighter in the welterweight division. Uh, I mean, it's just the same thing over and over, guys. And we've been seeing it with Demetrius Andrade, okay? We've been seeing it with him, okay? Look at the fights he has had since he re he's been with uh, uh, he's been with uh, Matchroom, if I'm not mistaken, according to this, right? Unless I'm reading wrong, the two way uh, the two way title holder was one of the first fighters to team up with Hearn, okay, in 2018. So it's July 2018. So you go back to July 2018. After that, you got this, right? Uh, this is in uh, July, August, September, October, if I'm not mistaken, right? Against Walter, against okay, and ever since then, and then he re now he's resigning to Matchroom to fight opponents like this or, or what? Okay, so according to According, this, I'm just saying what they're saying, guys. I'm not okay. According to, <laughs> according, according to uh, Demetrius Andrade, we have had a great 18 months. Okay, you've had you have had a great 18 months against these opponents. Uh, I I just don't I just don't buy that, you guys. I don't buy it. Okay, now it's great for them though. I reiterate, it's great for them that these fighters. You know what I'm saying they have stability. That's awesome. You know, more power to you guys. You guys got stability and you're making money. Great, but for fans. You know, for, for fans who love the sport, it's not great. It's not great at all. No one, I mean, it's not great. I mean, I, I don't know how else to say it. Now, another similarity between these guys, man. Um, Twitter wars, okay? Now we're saying Demetrius Andrade, like he's not getting the fights he should get, you know, that fans really want. Now Demetrius Andrade is calling them out on Twitter. <clears throat> oh, does that sound familiar? Does that sound familiar with our friend uh, Terrence? Crawford? Yeah, I think it does, right? Um, okay, now Demetrius Andra since February. Hey, since he re-signed again to Matchroom, right? Let's do it. 168. Let's do it. May 2020. No nasal spray. No excuses. Yeah, I want to fight you now. Uh, you know, nothing's happening. Um, you know, oh, you already know. You know, you already know. Hashtag S, whatever. Okay. Uh, and if you, if no Canelo, you want the fight and we're going to make it happen. Okay, this is him talking you know, and he's just calling people out, calling the top names, what have you, in the division, right? But there's nothing happening. So, you know, it just now, now, you know, and Andrade is resorting to Twitter. Oh no, now he's calling Charlo out on Twitter too. Okay, yeah, really, Charlo? Why would you think that? There's no cheating in boxing, right? I mean, so now, now, uh, you know, Andrade seems like he's he's using Twitter, resorting to Twitter, you know, to um. Oh, no. Charlo is a bleep. Okay, yeah. This vid only confirms it. Okay, hashtag tosser. Okay, you think? Okay, so now he's resorting to Twitter to, uh, I mean, to call out fighters. Uh, didn't, didn't, didn't Terrence Crawford do that recently? Okay, yeah, I don't have to go to that. Y'all know it. I don't have to go to all that. But Terrence Crawford, who is a really, really quiet guy, virtually speaking, you know, as far as calling fighters out, he doesn't do that on Twitter, guys. You know, Terrence Crawford is known as a very quiet, just 
cold. I don't know, man. Not cold, like emotions. I just, or I don't know, man. Just the expressions. That's how you see him. That's how, always how you see him all the time. <laughs> I mean, you know, in interviews, he looks like that always. You know, with that seriousness. That's just his personality. I'm not saying anything against it. It's just that, you know, virtually speaking, also, he never really called out fighters before. And you all know the whole fiasco, the whole Twitter thing, the whole emotional outburst that he has had recently in the past few months. I don't even know when it was. I even made a video about it. Terrence Crawford gone wild or something like that, right? You guys all know about it, that his sister got in the mix. You know, Terrence Crawford, it seems like he's just been frustrated because he got frustrated because, I mean, he, he's not getting any top name. He's not, much less he's getting Spence, you know what I'm saying? And um, it's just, I don't know, man. And, and recently, you know, the accusations are coming against him again, against Terrence Crawford that, you know, oh, yeah, he only wants fighters with belts, uh, but... He only wants fighters with belts, but look at the last fighters he has fought. Okay, Jeff Horn, we understand that, but look at the last three, and according to sources, I guess, right, um, his new opponent in the welterweight division it doesn't have a belt. Uh, okay, so I mean, or it's an average name, okay? No one wants to see it. No one's interested in it, you guys, so that's what I'm saying, you know, um... You know, he, he was doing it on Twitter because, you know, it seems like he got frustrated. He hasn't get, been getting the, the good fights, you know what I'm saying, and, um... Anyone with belts, you know, I don't know, man. It's just, you, you, there's just many similarities between these two guys recently. <clears throat> I'm not saying that, you know, that Demetrius Andrade isn't going to get a great fight, you know, in 2020. According to him, you know, it's going to be great, you know, right here. And we've got plans to have an even bigger 2020 and 2021. According to Matchroom's matchups, DAZN, these matchups they're making recently, um, I guess one of the biggest is what? Anthony Joshua versus Andy Ruiz. And at the beginning, Andy Ruiz wasn't even expected as a really big mega fight. He was, ex he was chosen as an average fighter for Anthony Joshua to easily beat him. Uh, as Anthony Joshua accustoms to doing. You know, Eddie Hearn. I'm sorry, more like Eddie Hearn. You know, he has that, that you know, a uh, habit of matching up, you know, fighters for AJ that AJ can beat. You know, so that was one of the biggest ones. And we obviously know that in the first fight... Anthony Joshua got smashed. Whatever excuse you want to put on it, there's no excuses. He lost, and that's it. He lost fair and square. Rematch, Anthony Joshua won. So I guess that's the biggest, you know. I guess Canelo, you know, versus Kovalev, you know. I mean, I mean, you know, so, so as it is, I mean, you know, DAZN is not having the best mashups out there. I'm not the type of person to be, you know, with this whole promotional, you know, um, backing up this promotional company more than that because we're seeing that a lot lately. But we have to admit the facts. I mean, I'm that type of person. Admitting facts, and that's it. So, you know, Andrade claiming that he's going to have an even bigger 2020 and 2021 considering then why wasn't, why wasn't it so, I mean, why wasn't it so big? Why hasn't it been? Why hasn't it been so big, you know, for, for, for Demetrius Andrade ever since he signed in 2018. Why haven't we been seeing big fights with Andrade? More like he's just been active and that's it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that, that, I mean, that's what it is, you guys. And 2020, 2021, hopefully we see Charlo. Hopefully see, we, be, we see the big names. Uh, you know, Canelo. Canelo is also affiliated with the zone. Why don't you guys make that? I don't know. Who knows, right? But... Boom, you know, the big fights would have, would have already been made, should have already been made since a while ago, man. So he's re-signing, he re-signed to Matchroom, just like Terrence Crawford re-signed to, to top rank. But we're not seeing anything interesting, guys, in their fights, in their recent fights for the past many months. You know, and there's quite a bit of similarities. <clears throat> You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I'm kind of disappointed in these two fighters. I have been disappointing in, disappointed in these two fighters. Not in their ability to fight. No, in their, you know, decision making. You know what I'm saying? Because cut it however you want. You guys, you guys, we got to admit the facts that why do I say their decision making? Because they both decided to resign to these promoters. They both decided a lot of great fighters are in other promotional companies. You know what I'm saying? Free agents, they could have had great deals too, but, you know, they didn't want to. They just... And they're having the same. Why they have? They have no reason to complain. Then, you know, Crawford, who has done it many times before. Oh, I'm not. You know, I'm not getting the best fights and this and that. it's because you resigned to top rank, bro. I mean, plain and simple. I mean, don't, there's no reason to complain. 
there's no reason to complain because you resigned to it. So I mean, face, you know, you get you get what you what you asked for. That you're getting. That's the types of fights you're getting. Demetri Sandra, the same thing. I mean, and now I mean, calling out now and these two these two guys, as I mentioned a moment ago, they're calling out fighters now on Twitter. You guys calling out nowadays doesn't do anything. It doesn't, you know. And I, I'm tired of hearing, you know, on Twitter or whatever. Oh, so and so is calling out so and so. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, I mean, that's nothing. That's not signing contracts, you guys. That's what it is. A lot of times when these fighters call out people, nothing happens anyway. They have bosses, and that's it. Point blank, you know. That's that's what it is, guys. Period. I mean, that's that's what it is. You know, what I'm saying, uh, you know, just just. Get over this whole calling out. He called this out and he called them out. I mean, nothing's happening. If nothing happens, you know what I'm saying? Much less if you call if you call a fighter out on Twitter, you think that's gonna fight? It's gonna happen? Most likely, it's not, man. Calling out somebody on Twitter doesn't do anything. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I just gotta get this off my chest, man. I'm tired of the you know seeing this with fighters. You know, it's good. It's cool. I mean, do your thing. You know, what I'm saying whatever. But as a fan, I don't get I don't get you know hyped up about it. I don't. You know, I don't, you know, I just take out the emotion because, you know, why are you going to get hyped up over something that's not going to happen? Most likely is not going to happen. You know, it is what it is, man. Calling out somebody on Twitter is not going to do much. So, I mean, just get over that. I don't know why these fighters do that, you know, but hey, all due respect, you know what I mean? But I'm focusing right now on Demetrius Andrade and Terrence Crawford. They have been doing that recently on Twitter. It's nothing's happening. It's, it's better just not to do it. Why do you do it? Why do you do it? We see through it. I mean, so, hey. <laughs> Hey, it is what it is, man. I mean, much love. Again, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm just disappointed in them. That's all. That's what it is. You know, they have so much talent. You have heard it millions of times. Talent, yes, we know that. They can fight, yes, we know that. But if it's not being put to the test, then just put them aside, man, and focus on other fighters. That's what I do. I'm just making this video, you know, just to compare their similarities because not much comparison has been made or recently or I haven't heard much about it. And I want to I bring this out to light. So, hey, Renee Box Young, man, like, subscribe, share this, guys. Share this to the communities, man, and, and put your comments below. You know what I mean? I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Salute from the South. Peace, family.